Hello, my name is Johan, and in this video we'll look at how we can use Noodle and Zapier to track events in Mixpanel. I thought I would show you how we can connect the Noodle Survey app example to Zapier and then track in Mixpanel every time a user answers a question in the Survey app. But what is Zapier? Well, Zapier is a great platform for automating tasks and connecting different cloud-based applications together. Noodle is now one of these cloud-based applications, and so is Mixpanel. And Mixpanel, that is a tool that you can use to measure and track analytics for your applications. Before you get started, create an account in both Zapier and Mixpanel. I will show you exactly how you will hook everything up, but I won't go through the account creation process for those services. Here we are in Noodle. Let's create a new project and let's use the custom survey example app as our starting point. I'm going to name my project Mixed Panel Survey. And then once I'm in the project, I'm just going to make a bit more room for the node editor area. Before we start adding new nodes, we need to make sure that we have a Noodle backend running for this project. So let's click up here to enable cloud services. You can create a completely new backend if you want, or you can use an existing one. Here, I'm just going to choose the default cloud services. So now that this is my chosen project backend, let's click this little arrow button. This reveals some information that we will be needing later when we connect everything in Zapier. For now, I just wanted to show you that here is some information that we will access later. So in the survey app, there are four pages, and my thinking is that every time a user answers a question and tries to navigate to the next page, I want to track that in Mixpanel. To do that, I need to use a node that's called cloud function. The cloud function node is one of the nodes that can trigger an event in Zapier, which is what we want. I need to give the cloud function a name. I will use this name later in Zapier to identify which cloud function it is I'm interested in. You can have many cloud function nodes with different names that trigger different things in Zapier, but in this example, we will use the same cloud function everywhere. I'll name it log to mix panel. Next thing I want to do is to define some parameters on the cloud function. A parameter is kind of like a slot for a piece of data that I want to send with this cloud function. It can basically be anything, and you can have as many parameters as you want. In my case here, I'm just going to create one slot or parameter, and I'll give it the name event name. I call it event name because this will contain the name or label for the event that I will track in Mixpanel. I could have added a parameter for the actual question that is being asked here, and maybe a parameter for the answer the user selected, and I could track all of that stuff as well. But to keep it simple, I'll stick with my event name parameter. Now I want to call this cloud function when the user's answer has been saved in this object, because then I know we will navigate to the next page. So I'll connect the done signal from the set object properties node to the call action of the cloud function node. I need to hook something up to the event name parameter. If someone navigates away from this page, they have answered question one. So I'll hook up a string node with the value question one to the event name like this. Okay, now I just need to copy the string and cloud function node and hook them up in the other pages or places where I want the cloud function to be called. I also need to make sure that I update the event name. So when I'm here on page two, I'll call the event name question two. On page three, I repeat the steps again update the event name to question three, 
and then call the cloud function when the answers have been saved. Finally, I'm also going to track if a user is on the summary page and clicks the button to go back and do the survey again. And that's it for the Noodle editor part. Next, let's make sure we have a project set up in Mixpanel. All right, so here I am in Mixpanel. When you signed up and created your account, you probably created a project already, but I want to create a new project that is specific for my survey app. I'll click up here and then on the Create Project button. Then I'll give my project a name and I'll call it Noodle Survey Data. Then you can choose where you want your data stored and I'll select the EU and choose Copenhagen as my time zone and then click create. Now I can see that Mixpanel has created a new project for me and I currently have the Noodle Survey Data project selected as shown up here in the right corner. In the next part of the video, we're going to set up a so-called Zap in Zapier. And when we do that, we're going to need some information from Mixpanel. It tells you in Zapier where to find the info, but since we are in Mixpanel right now, let me show you where it is. Click the gear icon here, and then you see the settings menu. Then select the project you created. In my case, it's the Noodle Survey Data. Now we see an overview of all the settings for my Mixpanel project. And we're going to need this project token here in a little bit. So I just wanted to show you where it is. Okay, so now we're going to tie everything together. Go to Zapier and log into your account. You'll probably be here in the dashboard view. And again, just a quick reminder about what Zapier is. Well, Zapier will let me connect different cloud-based apps together. And I'm basically making these little digital recipes and a recipe is called a zap. So let's head over to the zaps section here. I want to create a new zap, so I'm going to click here. Okay, so now the first thing we need is a trigger, which is an event that's going to start our zap. In my case, the trigger is the cloud function in Noodle. So let's search for Noodle in this search box and click it when we find it. Next, I want to choose what trigger event from Noodle I want to use. As you can see in this list, Noodle has several different trigger events. I want to select the function called as that is the event that is triggered when a cloud function is called in a Noodle app. I'll click continue and now we need to sign into Noodle it says. So let's click the button here and we're greeted with a pop-up that wants some information. If you remember, I showed you earlier that we were going to need some stuff from the Noodle backend. We need an endpoint and a master key. This stuff is needed so that all the different servers and apps that are involved can talk to each other and specifically talk to the right apps and servers. So let's head over to Noodle and copy some of this stuff. Okay, so here I am in Noodle in my Mixpanel survey project. And I'll click the Cloud Services button up here and then unfurl the information for the project backend. Then let's copy the endpoint URL first by triple clicking it so it's all selected. And then I'll just command C on my Mac here, or if you're on a Windows machine, you'll use control C to copy it. Back to the pop-up from Zapier and paste in the endpoint. And then one more trip to Noodle to get the master key. And now we paste that in in the pop-up and click yes to continue. And that's that part. Let's click continue and now we need to set up a trigger as Zapier calls it. For me it's the cloud function and specifically we need to fill in the name of the cloud function first. 
So let's type in the name we gave our function, which was uh, let's check in noodle so I don't make a mistake. Log to mix panel. Okay, so let's fill in log to mix panel here. And then we need to fill in what parameters or data slots our function has. And for me, it's just one and it's called event name, if you remember. Now, if I had more, I would just put a comma after each one and then just list them here in this box. Then click continue. And now Zapier lets us test the trigger. So let's click the button and it tells us a function was found. And then it shows us what different data slots the function provides. So there is the event name. And then there are some other default data slots or parameters that we're not going to be using in this example. It might look a bit strange here, but it's just trying to show us that these parameters will be available for us in the upcoming steps here. And it tries to show as an example what that data could look like. But for us, the value for event name won't be example, but it will be question one or question two and so on. Let's continue. So now we've set up a trigger here in our zap. Now we need to set up an action that should happen when we get our trigger. We want to save some stuff to Mixpanel. So let's search for Mixpanel and click that. Then we need to choose an action event and we want to track an event. So I will select that and click continue. Now we need to sign into Mixpanel, it says. So I'll click that button and then here this pop-up tells me I need the Mixpanel token that is associated with my project. We know where we can find that, so let's click over to Mixpanel here. And we should already be in the project settings for the Noodle survey data. And here I can get the token they are asking for. I'll copy it and find that pop-up again, and then paste in the token and click the button and off to the races I go. Don't worry that it just says mix panel project name here. Seems like it always does, so let's just forge ahead. Now we need to set up our action. First, it needs a name. And this is where I want to put the event name that I send from my noodle cloud function. So let's click here and look at that. I'm presented with a list of data I can get from the noodle cloud function. And there is the event name. So let's select that. There's more here that you can fill in. Maybe you want to send more data with your mix panel event. Then you would fill in some event properties here. But I only need the event name. So let's click continue. And now it tells me that I can test and continue. So let's click that. And a test event was now sent to Mixpanel. Let's click turn on zap and then let's go to Mixpanel. Here under the events tab, you'll be able to see all the events that are being sent to this project. So let's click it and there is the example event that was just sent. Now, it can take a little bit of time for events to show up in Mixpanel, but if I head over to my Noodle app and start clicking around a bit and just sometimes follow through the flow and sometimes stop early, then after a while, we should be able to look at more events in Mixpanel. Time pass, and I've generated a bunch of events from my survey app. So let's have a final look in Mixpanel. I have my project selected, and if I go into the events tab, I see that I don't have any events today, but I know I have a bunch from yesterday. So let's click that, and there we go. All of these events started in my Noodle app and were then sent to Mixpanel via Zapier. Of course, I can now do a bunch of stuff here in Mixpanel with the data, but that's out of the scope for this video. I hope you found it fun and useful. Happy noodling!